there. My name is John Bray, real estate broker with Bray Homes Realty here in San Diego, California. Every single month, I'm going to bring to you information about the 55 plus housing market in San Diego County. So whether or not you're a home buyer considering a purchase, a home seller, thinking about selling if you own a home in a 55 plus community, or perhaps you're just curious about receiving this kind of content in this information, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the button below. Our YouTube channel is Find Your Beach House SD. With that said, let's get started. For those of you that don't know me, again, my name is John Bray. I've been in real estate in California since 2004. First 11 years of my career, I was with the nation's largest builder of active adult communities, Pulte Del Webb. If you don't know that name, you probably have heard of Sun Cities. And I spent 11 years in a majority of that time really specializing in the 55 plus segment of our business. After that, I spent seven years with the nation's largest online leader for active adult or 55 plus housing. Uh, and that company is called 55places.com. And now, just as of recent, I'm a real estate broker with our own brokerage here in California between me and my wife. And we specialize in the 55 plus housing market. So sometimes when you're working with myself, you are also working with my beautiful wife, Jennifer. And again, we live here in San Diego County, in North County, and we absolutely love it. So first of all, before I get into to some of the data set for January, I just want to take a look at what exactly are we looking at when we're coming up with the data for the 55 plus housing throughout the county. And really, we're looking at a combination of 23 communities. And these are communities that are 55 plus, uh, and they are either your traditional communities, which is attached, detached housing, or their manufactured home communities. Now, with that said, there are more 55 plus communities here throughout the county, but we are not looking at leased land communities, uh, nor are we looking at co-op ownership or independent and assisted living communities as well. So you can see the makeup of the communities that we have, majority of which 65% are attached and detached, while about 35% of those communities are manufactured home communities, typically HOA communities, here for the manufactured homes. So with that said, if we look at all of last year's sales in 2022, there were 421 sales that took place within these 20, uh, 400, 421 sales, sorry, that took place within these 23 55 plus communities. Majority of the sales, but not by much, were in the attached, detached traditional communities. Uh, so a little over 52%, while 47% of those sales took place in the manufactured homes. And how does this compare to January? So January 2023 versus January 2022 is I like to look year over year. So last year, January 2022, uh, we saw a total of 57 sales take place in all of these communities. Strong majority of which, 81% of those sales were in the attached and detached communities, uh, which means about 20% of those sales or 19% were in the manufactured home communities. Now this year, right side of your screen, January 2023, there were only 29 sales that took place, so substantially lower than where we were this same time last year. And a strong majority of that, 93% of those sales took place in the traditional built communities. So a big difference between January 2022 and January 2023 in terms of the sales volume that we saw in the first month of this year. So deeper dive, let me move myself here into the numbers. Median price for the 27 homes that we sold uh, in the attached and detached communities was $725,000 in January, and the days on market until sold was 32. So average days on market is how long does it take for those homes to go pending, and in January it was 32 days, and in last year I could tell you that that number in January was in the single digits as homes were selling very, very quickly. 32 is still fast. Uh, and then if we look below that, the next bullet, the median price for the two homes that sold in the manufactured home communities was $620,000 in January. And the average days on market was very similar at 36 days. That too last year was also within the single digit. So the longer it's taking now, uh, it's taking homes to sell a little bit longer than what it did this same time last year. Probably not a surprise if you've been following the market, but still 32, 36 days, both is very quick. I will make a point on that second bullet point, 620. Uh, I suspect that that number will likely decrease a bit here in the coming months, uh, not just necessarily because of anything with the market, but because there were only two sales and those two sales took place of those manufactured homes within higher price zip codes, coastal communities, one in Carlsbad, one in Encinitas, where some of the other communities are in uh, less expensive zip codes in Vista 
and in Oceanside uh, and a couple others as well. So a little bit further inland from the coast where they typically are more affordable. So at the end of January, there were a total of 96 homes on the market between these 23 communities, majority of which are 76 exactly to be in the attached and detached communities versus 20 in the manufactured homes. So based upon January sales, those 29 sales are month of supply based upon current inventory is three, almost three and a half months. And really what that means, if no new homes hit the market today, how long would it take to sell through that inventory? So usually they say a balanced market is roughly three and a half, four months to about six market. Uh, anything longer than six months is kind of considered a buyer's market. And really kind of within that under three months or three and a half months, that's still a seller's market. So in San Diego County, if you look at just the days on market and what we're seeing in months of supply, we're really still in that seller's market. I wanted to break out a particular segment of the housing that we take a look at and look at this in January this year compared to January of 2022, and that's the detached housing. Uh, in red, we see January of 2022 numbers. So the first two bars on the left, that is the total number of homes sold of detached in January. Uh, and so in January last year, we can see there were 11 detached homes that sold. And in January of this year, 2023, we can see that there were 12. So basically the same number of sales that took place between last year and this year in the detached segment. And then if we look at the next two numbers, 17 and 39, those higher bars there, that is the days on market until sold for the detached homes. So last year, as I mentioned, homes were selling very quickly. In particular, in the detached segment of housing, it was taking 17 days on average. In this month of the 12 sales, it took 39 days. Median price, median uh, price, I like to look at this as a rolling 12 month average. And here's why I like to do that is because if we just look at one month as a snapshot, the numbers could be skewed because there's not as much data in there depending upon, you know, let's just say, for example, uh, in January of 2023, the median price for a detached home in these communities of those 12 sales was 825,000. But that doesn't mean that we are down to 825,000 from our peak prices. What that means is that of those sales that took place. So we look at the rolling 12 month average, one, we're going to get a lot bigger data set. Any of these bars typically on average have about 170 detached homes uh, that are being calculated into the numbers. So we saw very much matches the greater San Diego County market, the non-age restricted or traditional market, where we saw the prices started were really going up the first part of last year, kind of leveling off. Uh, the later part of last year, and then even going down here, the later part of last year in early part of this year has basically been flat. So we did have a strong month, but that's within the 55 plus housing market because we did have within some of these communities, some higher priced homes that have sold. So our trend graph was up early part of last year and has been relatively flat the later part of last year. And from 890,000 to 800,000 of our pricing, I think what we can see within this set is prices are up about 11% in the same time last year for median price, which very closely resembles the county data for all housing within San Diego, where we were up over 10%. Okay, so 890,000 for a uh, single family detached home in an active adult community here in San Diego County. So in summary, yes, homes are sitting on the market longer than what they were last year. Those detached homes were about twice as long, uh, but but Still, nonetheless, homes are selling very quickly. Days on market until sold in the 30s is still very quickly uh, a, a fast, fast number to get homes into escrow, into that pending status. And so I would say to this is what I see when I look at these communities, the homes that are uh, priced well and that maybe are updated or nicely staged and nicely updated, those are the homes that are selling quicker. The homes that they're really trying at the top of the market uh, in order to get their price, they're finding that they're having to lower their purchase price and it's taking longer for them to sell. The most active community in January of this year was Oaks North, large active adult, 55 plus community in San Diego in the Rancho Bernardo area with 11 sold homes. The highest price sale was just under 1.2 million, which was a beautiful 1787 square foot condo in the newer, actually the newest 55 plus community here in San Diego County that was built out about a year and a half ago. And that, account, that home sold just under 1.2 million. And then the lowest price sale that we had in January of this year was a 940,000, uh, was a 940 square foot condo uh, that sold for 300 in just under 44,000. And that is in the active lifestyle community in Oceanside in the community of Oceana. 
So if you have particular questions, if you want to know about your neighborhood this month, feel free to send me uh, an email. You can call me. Uh, text message is great as well. But again, let me move myself right here. I do recommend if you want to receive updates like this, I will get into different sets of data every single month, but some of it will be consistent. Uh, please, again, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Find Your Beach House SD. With that said, I will see you in early March with February data. Have a great month. Thank you.